If you love loose watercolor florals, good news. I've put together an in-depth beginner-friendly series. Every Friday this month, we'll paint a different spring flower together. And this week, that's an iris. Hey friends, welcome back. My name is Shada Campbell and today we are painting a watercolor iris. Every Friday this month there's going to be a different spring flower, all very loose watercolor florals and gosh, I'm thinking of it almost like a little mini e-course. This is just step by step showing you exactly how to paint some of your favorite spring flowers. And if you're a true, true beginner, Good for you for being here and for getting creative with me. And I just wanted to let you know that I actually created a watercolor worksheet. Having a worksheet with you might help dispel some of that weird fear that we all get when putting paintbrush to paper. And that's available on my Patreon site. All the bonus content there is just two bucks a month. You can sign up for as short or as long as you like. You support the channel and you get help with your own creative practice. Okay, let's get into it. I have been practicing painting my irises and trying them different ways and just having fun with it. And I've also prepped a little color swatch so that if you're following along, you can use the exact same colors. All of that is covered on the worksheet as well. For supplies, we're using hot pressed paper. It has a wonderful smooth texture and I just love the way that paint settles into it in some weird, wonderful ways. For paints, my Mung Yo set is of course the one I'm using. Grab two glasses of clean water and some paper towel for blotting your brush. And then for brushes, you're going to want one small and one large round paintbrush. For my small, I've got a number four. For the large, a number eight. Now let's talk color a little more specifically. So if you have this set, you can use violet and or the purple. And so I've got my violet here just scrubbing at the cake of paint with a nice wet brush. Um, for the really, really light purple that I'm using uh, for the petals, you're going to want to mix white with just a hint of violet or a hint of purple. I've got a bit of magenta on the palette, but I'm going to cool it down a bit before I start painting. For that bit of yellow that we want to capture on the iris, we'll use yellow ochre. And then the green is a mix of deep fallow green and sap green, which I think is this nice, bright, vibrant, springy color. Okay, let's begin our painting. So the first thing we're going to do is take the number eight round brush with lots of that light, light purple, and we're gonna paint that big front petal in one or two big brush strokes, maybe wiggle the brush a bit, and you're just gonna leave a small space where we'll place that yellow eventually. I'm gonna grab some more of that light, light purple in my brush and we'll paint the second petal here on the right, just kind of wiggling the brush a little. And your petal doesn't have to be the exact same shape as mine. I'm kind of just trying to create a bit of a weird long petal shape. And I might reshape that bottom one ever so slightly. Only do that if it's still wet. If it's dry, leave it alone. <laughs> and then we'll grab some more paint in our large brush and we'll paint that third petal over on the left. Again, just trying to kind of create a bit of a weird shape that comes to a pointed tip. Then we're gonna switch to that smaller paintbrush and get a bit of that yellow ochre. And while that purple is still wet, we're gonna put just a little hint there. The nice thing here is that the purple should have dried a little, so the yellow is not gonna bleed and blend in this extreme way. It's just gonna bleed ever so slightly, giving you a natural look. Then I'm switching back to my larger brush, grabbing that green, and we're going to add the stem here. And I just wiggle the brush a little so that it, it looks a little uneven and organic. And I'll do some long, thin leaves. So just kind of adding a little bit of pressure to the brush. And the leaves can join up with the stem or they don't have to. We're keeping everything very, very loose. These are loose spring florals. Add a little extra water to your green paint to give you leaves that are lighter and a little more transparent, and that'll just keep everything really interesting. 
Okay, then switching back to that smaller brush, I'm going to pick up some of my cold pink and we're going to paint these tiny petals at the top of the iris. And again, I'm just kind of, I'm going to paint three and uh, just try to make them look a little weird, frankly. <laughs> As I just said, this is super loose watercolor florals. We don't need to capture every last detail of the iris. We just need to get some of the key features. And that's what you see me do in here. I'm gonna finish up the stamen, I guess, if that, is that the stamen? <laughs> the petals at the center. And then these light purple petals have started to dry. So now I'm taking some of my permanent violet, that dark purple on the very tip of my smaller round brush and I'm adding all these tiny little lines. And if you make a line that looks a little too wide or too thick, you can just take a damp, clean brush and just blend it out a little. Get a little dark purple there. It'll look like some shading. But for the most part, just try to add some very thin, wispy little brush strokes um, to add that coloring on the iris petals. And I'm putting some near the yellow and some more lines um, near the edges of the petals. And I've blended a few out a little bit because I want that shadowy, messy look. And yeah, I'm just gonna keep going around these three petals, adding these wispy dark violet lines and it's really coming together nicely. Just a reminder, you can grab the worksheet for this iris flower and there will be a worksheet every Friday this month for all the help you need with your spring watercolor florals. It's available on my Patreon site. It's just $2 a month. And when you sign up, not only are you giving yourself that boost with your art practice, but of course you're supporting this channel and making these videos possible. Okay, we're almost done at this point. I'm going to simply do some wet on dry now to add shading. So I'm adding a darker green, and if you need to darken your green, you can add a little violet to it. And I've just shaded the part of the stem just underneath the flower and kind of the bottoms of the leaves. And then again, using a wet on dry technique, we're going to add a little bit of a darker uh, cold pink to the bottom of the uh, top petals here. And cold pink mixes really nice with the violet if you need to darken it. So yeah, that's about it actually. Our iris is complete. This loose watercolor floral is perfect for spring and I think it's perfect for learning to paint. And speaking of learning, every Friday in April we're painting a new spring flower together. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. Need a little extra help? Head to Patreon for that worksheet. Thanks for watching friends. See you soon.